So let's see how to use the scribble elements pack inside of Premiere Pro. So once you download this template, you should get this zip file. Now just unzip it and you will get this folder over here. Now just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. Now if you open up this mogul file, you will find all of these different categories in which you will find the actual mogul file over here. So there is total 8 different categories like titles, arrow, circle, pin mark, speech bubble, objects, emoji and callouts. For the title, I have used a font. So if you just go back over here and open up this font link, this is a completely free to use font. So you can just copy this link to your browser, download and install it. Okay, now let's see how to install this mogul files. For that, open up Premiere Pro and let's go to Windows and make sure to select this essential graphics and you are in this browse tab. Now we can just open up uh, any categories that you want to install and just drag and drop over here. In the same way, let's go to another one. I'm going to import like this arrows as well as some objects. So you get the idea. Now I can just drag and drop any elements on top of the screen. So let's suppose I'm going to drag and drop the title as you can see. Now over here, I'm just going to open up this text parameters and type my text. Now I can control the global scale and position over here and then go over here. Let's add an arrow over here. You can also change the position and rotation. If you want, you can go to this motion and select it and you can on screen control the scale and position as well as rotation. In the same step, you can drag and drop as many elements you like and create your presentation. Now if I play like that, it looks nice. Now to change the color, just select it and in the edit tab, you will find this flip horizontal and vertical and then you can change the color and you can also increase the thickness and over here you can increase the frame per second so right now there is a stop motion effect going on which is going on like 5 frames per second but, but if you increase it the motion will be smoother and if you don't like the jitter effect you can turn off that and it will be completely static so that's basically it and all of these elements have same kind of settings